That's all, that's all I did. I'm also like, like unless he does the work for me, I'm like, down as we should have. You want to go once you get it. No, no, once you get it. I'll keep the string and it's like, I feel like you are the perfect middle man. I am. Like, you could do it in the show. Yeah, I don't like you should. You should always see the bottom, but I feel like shit. And then that's better. That's way better. So, yes, you bet. I know someone who might be like, I don't know. I personally don't care. I like real. I also don't even see the first one. Yeah, so I got it. 24 hour tournaments. All right, okay, this is uh, not Jack Trito. Uh, talk. No, that's terrible. I'm not, not going to do that for the whole thing. I think we got uh, DPS versus full-time slacker in the uh, inaugural, or not not the inaugural game of uh, the Jersey Cup, but the first game that is will be being streamed in the Jersey Cup. Excuse me. Uh, this is your commentator, uh, me, talking. DPS will be the Browns as player one. Thrash, you want in? There we go. Let me give me time to eat bagels. Let me scoot over. This will be uh, Thrash and Molnar uh, commentating this gem of group uh, D for damn it between Slacker and. Uh, so the matchup call is uh, DPS player one Browns against uh, player two Slacker as uh, Phoenix. What are your thoughts? Browns Phoenix is an interesting matchup. Mm -hmm. That's something I would kind of shy away from. But on the same token, you have QB Browns, so you know you've got those, those, those DBs you typically would sweat when you're facing the Cardinals. But you know, with, with that 75 PC versus 56 INT, you know you can kind of disrespect those those defensive backs a little bit. You know, speaking of McDonald um, as well as Lonnie, so. Um, Interesting call here. Who, who called this? Uh, Slacker did. Slacker made this call. Okay. Yep. Very interesting. And so DPS chose the Browns? Chose player one. DPS and Slacker chose... countered with uh, taking Phoenix. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Um, obviously, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's a very, very intriguing matchup. I mean, but... well, well, would you call this more knowing that you would want to get the Browns as player one? Would that make you feel more comfortable with it, or? I mean, personally, the way I play, I wouldn't. But it's, that's actually not even a bad call. Not to think about it, because you, you know you do have you know QB Browns, who, who's good. I mean, you know he's the ultimate Swiss Army knife. When I'm making a draft pick, in let's say like an HSTL or something, you know. I'm leaving Joe Montana on the board. I'm taking QB Browns. Really? Is um, it is it because of the passing speed and Browns has more of a loft? Or is just Montana well, not well, your... Certainly in terms of the JJ, I, my personal feeling is that 44 PS is the ultimate. Okay. Um, you know, versus Montana, who's 56. But also, you know, you, you have 25 MS with Kozar versus the 19 MS of Montana. Okay. So, so I thought Montana was 25 MS as well. My, Montana my is 19. Oh. Oh. Well, I also feel like with Phoenix, Phoenix is one of those teams where... <laughs> The quarterback play can make or break you at any point. It feels like Phoenix, uh, Atlanta, and Minnesota all fall under that umbrella. Where, and even Dallas with a, a big That's booty true. Aikman at some I mean, points. You've got, you've got a 44 PC quarterback in Timmy, um, but on the same token, you've got a very suspect defense um, secondary. Yeah. You know, with Cleveland, so it's you, not, you can it's throw not into bad, coverage and I not think, worry. You know, I, th I think honestly, you know what what Slacker's logic probably is here is Johnny Johnson. Mm -hmm. You know, the the big disparity here is between the running backs. You've got 38 MS running backs versus a 50 MS running back in Johnny Johnson, um, the white man, <laughs> as we like to call him in Tecmo. <laughs> We're underway. Dan's uh, incomplete on first and ten. Uh, second and ten, going with the shotgun formation. Has everybody open? Kevin Mack with a good route. Perfectly placed by Kozar. Big gain for Dan. Ends up on uh, Arizona side of the field. Sorry, this bagel is fighting going down. Nope. Better dealing with the bagel now than Mexican food from last night. Uh, it depends on the Mexican food, but I'm, a, I'm assuming it didn't sit well. All right, Dan going up again. He's got Slaughter, and he misses oh, the burn route. Oh, Webster Slaughter. Wow, a rare miss. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, that's just brutal. When you've got a 75 PC quarterback to a 63 reception yeah. wide receiver, and you just you get it's that result. massively overthrown, yeah. <laughs> or overthrown just enough where that speed comes into a factor. Motion run. 
run to and gets there, gets the first for Dan. So the matchup calls should be interesting this tournament because the War Games rules slash Thunderdome rules are in effect where you have the option of taking P1 um, as well as the See, I, I feel that that trumps a lot of matchup calls. Like any 50-50 matchup call is literally, okay, I'll just take player one at this point, it feels like. Okay, you, like for example, what's for the sure. most even matchup? Like Washington, Minnesota. Of course. You're taking player one at that point because you want the you want that uh, extra uh, passing ability for the player one side. Right. You yeah, know, it certainly it, it changes strategy, it changes the nature of things. And if you come here not knowing these are the rules, yeah. And you've got you know, kind of a laundry list of you know calls that you have prepared. I mean, they're going out the window, really. Exactly. Exactly. Um, for the reasons you just mentioned. It just it just destroys any 50-50 call. It's like you have to bait them on just enough to take that player to thing. You got to call. I mean, this oh is just my gosh. this is just me spitballing. You got to call matchups brutal like redirect there. Washington brutal, Philly, brutal, brutal. fourth and six. Dan going for fourth it here. And six DPS showing some nuts. See. Taking the chance early. Will he get there? Ah, oh, he's. Do we get? Oh, 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 he scrambles, but he doesn't get it enough. Oh, big, <laughs> big stop by stop. Slacker. Full time right. Slacker with a stop. Huge. Audience saying Slacker should just walk away right now and just take the win. Yeah, takes the draw. Yeah. First and ten, and oh, Playlock getting blown up. Here's Johnny, but the Browns drone step up and hold him to an eight-yard gain. Sidney Rosenbach under center. Split back formation. It looks like the run two and another. Oh, big popcorn. Yeah, Mike Johnson can't get anything. Johnson's up all the way to the 40. He's at the 45-50. 45. He's just out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Two plays, two, and we're already on the uh, brown side of the field for Slacker. And the Pro white man making his presence felt. Yep. Yeah. There we go. At that time, Brown's defense steps up, second and ten. No, but getting back to what I was saying about the uh, the first player thing, it's like you have to tease them enough, like call matchup like Philly Washington. If you want to guarantee, almost guarantee yourself to get player one, even then it's a little, it's a poss it's a possibility of you not even getting that. It's true. You might have the better team with player two with Philly, but it's like, it's what do you give up? Yeah, the strategy change is huge. Mm -hmm. um, but it's interesting. It's fun. You, you know, oh yeah. I mean, it really. The first time I played that was in Thunderdome, you know, with, un, under these rules, and mm -hmm. I, I ended up, I mean, you know, making the bracket with a big upset over Disaster Master just because. Nice. You know, I made he made a call on me, which was Jet Steelers, and um, that's a player one. I, I feel like that's a fifty-fifty where exactly. you want. You, and that's what I did. I yeah. took player one, and um, I mean, if you're. If you're facing me, which team do you want in that matchup? But you're taking player one? I'm taking player one. Uh, you're going you're gonna to take the Steelers, exactly. I think, yeah. Exactly. You know, like, and, and, and he said the right thing, too. He's like, hey, you know what? He's going to JJ no, matter, you know, no yeah. matter which team it was. And that's true. I mean, that's the advantage the P1 side gives you. Well, I mean, that's a big uh, even, even then, though, I mean, especially when it comes to JJs, it's really hard to call matchups where neither team has much of a JJ potential. Okay, I mean, you could throw teams like uh, – wow. Big Good pick, points. yeah. Good start for Slacker. Al Del Greco. Slacker jumping out 3 nothing. If he can hold Dan to a, a field goal or less on this drive, he gets the ball to start the second half. Slacker playing good. 38 East Coast time, New yep. Jersey time. Yep. Do you know where your children are? New Jersey are? Tecmo time. Do you know where your children are? Huh? Better yeah. question is, have you started drinking yet? Yep. <laughs> you can't drink all day unless you start in the morning. Mm -hmm. And it's already after lunchtime. I mean, if we're talking late at night last night, technically that's the morning. So, yeah, I've been Good doing point. that. Okay. That was my downfall at Cleveland. I, uh, <laughs> I did a lot of I did a, a lot of beer drinking on Friday night. I'm trying to think. We were, oh, at the, what was it, at that restaurant and then uh, at the hotel. I did the hotel, a hotel yeah. bar. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah? <laughs> big sack by Slacker. Slacker stepping up big. Fourth and 15. He's going to get the ball now. Could make it a two possession game. And getting the ball back here. So FTS looking to hang a loss on DPS early in the day. Too many acronyms. Beat and pull play. 
nevertheless, it don't matter. I think I think Dan wants his loss here. I think Dan wants to kind of get honest, kind of you know, shake himself up a little bit, feel like he's not invincible, take a loss, and then really you know, do what he's been doing this whole time. Well, you can't. I mean, the run of DPS has been unprecedented over the last. I mean, how long has it been? I mean, it's been like a. He lost Milwaukee. I'm sorry. He lost in Milwaukee. That's the streak true. has ended. Tundra Yeti. Yeah. Tundra Yeti with a yeah. big win in Milwaukee. Oh, Tundra, look, the Brock Lesnar to his Undertaker. Tundra Yeti there is. There we no, go. Uh, big size. No, no. And he had, he had wins over Joey Gatz and, and DP. Yes. He had route to the trophy. Y- Yeti is definitely one of those grinder players where it's literally a coin flip and you kind of have to hope he gets unlucky at some point, which, I mean, unfortunately, sometimes happens, but it's like. There's definitely no easy. It's not a guaranteed win against someone like him. Like same with Slacker. Slacker's playing fantastic. What a great scramble is that by Slacker. The talent pool is so deep at this point because three I mean, yards I think, is three think, yards. And, and I attribute that to really people just sharing knowledge about the game, sharing understanding, because it really allows people to kind of grow, step up their game over time. And yeah, I mean, you know, there, there's so many people, there's so many opponents you can face. You feel like you might be in a 50-50 situation. The talent pool is definitely con- more concentrated than it is right now, and there, it's turned in. Even though Dan is kind of dominating the tournament tournament scene right now, it is a it wouldn't shock people to see guys like Full Time Slack or someone make a run in these things. Because it's, it's almost like, again, it's a grinder type of thing. On any given day, it's literally turning into an any given Sunday type of mentality. And look, look Full Time Slacker is no slouch. He's a tough guy. I mean, oh, he's got good last posture. year here, I mean, I know he had a big win over. Oh, Arnold. great play. Oh, oh, my goodness. I mean, FTS is definitely a force to be reckoned with. You yeah. know, taking take nothing away from him. As much as you know, you're. Uh, He's playing great right now. First gosh, half. Is um, is Nostradamus in the chat room? No, there nobody's is, in the chat. No, these are all being recorded. These are being recorded. Okay. Recorded, as in, yeah, these gonna stream them later, all separately. Yeah, there's no one in the chat. He will be by the time. Yes. <laughs> no. I'll forgo the bone smuggling comments. Wearing his uh. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> Dan going cross field and he gets it to wow. Kevin Mack Kevin at the 30 Mack. with 40 seconds left. He's at the 28. Can Dan salvage seven nice off drama. this? Hozar in the shotgun. Like I, said, I mean, look, he's got to take a shot downfield. One of the best quarterbacks in tech. Going to Mack. Oh, Mack can't wow. put it picked off. Wow. So nine seconds here and a shot. There we I go. Think Johnny Johnson is going to wide receiver here. It's definitely not going to Sakamea. Definitely not him, unless you put yeah Prol. Prol? I don't know. Cobra Vibe. Prol's got some hands, but he's slower. Than yeah, you got you. It's going to take him <laughs> midway through the third quarter for Prol to get downfield. Agreed. Here we go. So does Slacker have? He's got three three shots here. No, he's got one. Nine seconds left in the second quarter. No, what I'm saying is, yeah, in, in oh. terms of the play, the play oh yeah, yeah, to stretch the field. Yeah, and it's not a call. Dan play. blitzing, smart. A little bump there by Dan. I think it, Ro- Rosie has the mobility, but he goes to Roy Green. Here we go. Here. This is the play, and it's overthrown. Wow, wow, Timmy. We enter halftime. Three nothing. Full time slacker and Phoenix ahead of DPS. The adjusted uh, Vegas over under line has now went to 17 and a half. With the better this, uh, question is, the better question here is, do we see some panties? No, no. no. We got a wink. I mean, look, we got we got a wink. PG, PG family programming, folks. But the full time slacker with the advantage and three the ball, point lead and the ball. Really, hey, look, FTS in good shape here in the driver's seat versus DPS. Playing great defense, playing great offense. He, but he, and, but. Three points ain't going to be enough to, uh, Dan's to hold this head. off. Dan, Dan's looking to wake up here. Dan, 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 Dan had a rough morning. Um, heard he was doing some praying to the porcelain god early. So he's kind of you know trying to shake off the that was the a dildo. Shit, that was a dildo, not a porcelain god. Okay. Dildo. Total dildo. It might have been Hanks, but... Well, at least you admit you strapped something off. It's okay. I mean, people... I, everybody's got a kink. And here's Johnny going right back to the uh, right back to the grind. Johnny, Johnny, all the way to the fifty, Johnny putting no him soul. back in field goal. Johnny White Man, there right. we go. Wow, rumbling, stumbling, bumbling, the White Boy. Woo! 
I haven't seen a good run at white running back like that since Peyton Hillis. There we go. Johnny. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Tupa's in there now. Was conditions? Super I missed. Tupa. Great scrambling again by oh, Slacker. Oh, Super Tupa. May where you go and you don't know where to go to. Why don't you go where fashion sits? But um, bump. Super Tupa. Here we go. Oh, he's got it now. He got it. Got it. Oh, oh, he went to Johnny. I thought he was covered. Johnny's at the ten, the five, and full-time slacker takes a possession of the game. Johnny Johnson having a hell of a fantasy day with a receiving touchdown from Tupa. And slacker opens up a two-possession lead. Wow. So here we are, 2:55 left in the third quarter. FTS on top of DPS, 10 nothing. Thank God they're both plural. Now Dan needs to definitely answer back here with a, a touchdown or a field goal or otherwise this thing could be over. Full-time slacker is channeling his inner Nostradamus, and I mean his inner Nostradamus. Oh, you hear the you hear the clicking of the the damn controller. My God, in stereo. Ah, oh, QB Browns in bad, Metcalf in good, Langhorn in bad. This game's over. Yeah, fuck Langhorn. Nope, most useless guy ever. Just four. The Brian Brennan. Hank the Tank in the background, looking intently, scratching his balls, showing a little sock. Sack or sock? Oh yeah, sock. Well, pulling off the. Uh, pulling off the. Uh, Socks, jeans tucked into the sock look. Might Not be riding a bicycle. With gym socks. Who is the the champion? I mean, from from last year's Cleveland that I went to, he was the champion beer smuggler. Yeah, I, I so still don't know how the fuck he did that. He was he was a champ. He just brought in a lot of equipment and buried like a case in, of beer underneath it. And inside of wicker basket of yeah. all things. We did that. Uh, we did that Very this year stuff. for uh, for Cleveland, where um, I brought in uh, a tote of equipment. That just had like a cooler in there and stuff like that. Nah, the line, the the food lines were worse. But here we go, tell Oh, oh the Brian Brennan from. She wins. Wow. Kozos <laughs> grapples, escapes, finds Brian Brennan. Seven points, DPS, and whoa. <laughs> the horseshoe has returned. The horseshoe, and he got it before the fourth. Still a lot of time left to go in this one. But again, full-time slacker. He's receiving the ball. He's got a three-point advantage. One minute of Tecmo yeah. time to go in the third. Well, he just took off 30 seconds off that kickoff. He wants to get out of bounds here. He's probably throwing caution to the wind a little. Oh, oh. he breaks it. There comes Thompson with a 16 tap on that drone. A little out, unnecessary, but out of bounds at about the 23. Quite, quite look good. 27 seconds left here. Dan doing his best AC Slater impression. Supa Tupa under center. There we go. It's a sweep. There we the go. White boy. There we go. Laylock with a good tackle. This will bring up a second and six. Yeah. Slacker killing off that t extra time. Five seconds left. This will be the last play of the third quarter. Let's see what Slacker can do with it. Here we go, Tupa. He's got multiple options. He's going to scramble it. He gets caught with that by a drone, which slows him down and keeps him short of the first down. It's third and two. As we enter the fourth quarter, third and two. Mm -hmm. Slacker. I think FTS wants to check conditions. Wow. Well, so Timmy's coming back in the game. This will be interesting to see what what Big Slacker does. Even even if it's a called play, unless he takes a sack, I still think this is four down territory. It's you gotta you gotta go, but it's let's see what he does. Let's see what he does here. He gets to run one. Will he get it enough? Oh, play. oh the, the, the blockers don't do anything, but Slacker gets around with Johnny oh, and turns my. a disaster into a first down and a little bit more. 437 left to go Great in the game. By FTS. Man, Slacker's scrambling ability has been fantastic this game with the quarterback and with Johnny. Run up the wow. middle, but it's not doing anything. Here comes Johnny. Johnny gets to the, close to the midfield. Slacker almost three. approaching field goal range here. 424 left, but with Del Greco, who's yeah. one of the shittiest kickers in the game. Yeah, but uh, call play here. Oh, He's throwing into danger, but thankfully uh, Claiborne doesn't have the jump like picks. Ricky Foles all by himself at the top of the screen. Yeah, but that's all. he, what, ran six yards? 
Yeah, no, it was a first down. It was a terrible joke. <laughs> Thank you for sandbagging the shit out of that. Well, the play is not called here. Here we go. And look at that. Rich oh. Cole again, wide open. But a good hey, scramble Dan, here Dan with Timmy. Dan lets him take it. Could it. Instead of risking the, putting caution into the win. Here we go. Can FTS do it? It's that midfield now. Nevertheless, you know, when you face... Has everybody open. He's going to run. Wolfley! Oh, T. Wolfley! T. Wolfley! I can't believe it. Wow. Over Thing Gash. The Thing Gash. First and goal now. 3.27 left to go. Everything is coming up slacker. Can he do it? Slacker is eight yards away from going up two scores on DPS. 3.27 left in the fourth. Is there a horseshoe up his ass? That's what I want to know. No, uh, How does this, happen? this run does up DPS the middle has not been has, hasn't been able to be stopped by DPS lately. Oh, he oh. misses the dive again, Johnny, but the drone swarm. 3.10 left to go. Second and six. White boy does not get it done. Still a lot of time. DPS will be getting the ball back at some point this game, but will it be down 10 or needs, will it be down needs, 6 or will it yeah, be down 3? seven here, I think. I don't. I mean, I, I don't know. I you would not play feel the comfortable game. Being, you know, being up 13-7 personally. No. Especially you know, on, you know, with Kozar on the other side. I mean, here we go. Like Rosenbach going to be scrambling. He gets there. He gets oh, to the 5 oh, and touchdown. Timmy. Huge. Wow, the, the little the little stutter steps up until the line of scrimmage worked out perfectly. Well done again by Slacker. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, the big news early is going to be DPS has been defeated <laughs> by full-time The way the Brian Brennan is playing, though, he might have something to say about that. This is true. By the way, for any of those who had the Brian Brennan touchdown props, congratulations at, like, what, 50 to 1? We go. I saw I saw an excellent. I saw Brennan still in good. We'll see so, what, how and, it goes. And really, you know, credit to full time slacker for the call here. This is in this format. Heads up, great yep. call. And for that jersey, man, he is rocking that Eagles thing tight. Going deep to slaughter. DPS the same. Bring your daughter. Oh, heads up and a 17 to 16 top. Uh oh, we, so, we ain't done yet. Wow, ah. so DPS with 117 left. Pulls yeah. within three, assuming the extra point here. I'd miss it on purpose. No. And I'll tell you what, I mean, he's... Um, we were back into it. Now it's an onside one kick. One onside kick away from winning this game. And he got it. There we go. There's one bounce. There's two bounces. Three bounces! Oh, my God! Oh, my goodness. DPS! DPS recovers the onside. And, oh Nothing my you can gosh. do here. Minute 20 the in field goal range. Swung. Oh, the, the odds have just swung after what a battle. What work by full-time That slacker. horseshoe keeps trading assholes. What the fuck? Oh, my word. It's going to out of bounds to slaughter. Saves himself on that call play. Second and ten. left. Second and ten. Fourth quarter. QB Browns under center. What an opening game here at Jersey Cup. Wow. And there's a scramble for QB Browns. It gets all the way to the 40. 45. Six. 49 seconds left. This is here. big. This is a huge I third have, down play. I, I, I think you want to oh. throw the ball there. I, you know, I, don't I was know thinking if you caught, if it's a call play. There's a call. Wow. great to cross field to Mac the, all the way there. Under 30 yards, under 30 seconds, first and 30 10. 30 seconds, but Dan, again, biding his time really well here. Not Does not want to give Timmy Rosenbach a chance. Here we go. He's going to Ozzy over 10. He got the auto dive oh at the 5. God, DPS. DPS. Against wow. the odds, against all odds, late in the game, recovers the onsides. Woo! Oh, my word, this is Tecmo, baby. Seven this is Tecmo, seconds. DPS oh, my is DPS, God. You know. In the past, it was Joey Gats. People say you got Gats, but I think you got DPS. That sir. is dirty. Whiz. What a what a great comeback by Dan, but oh my benefit Lord. of wow, what a comeback, man. It Slacker played a hell of a game too. It's like that was a great call. It. That was a great game. I mean, he gets the onsides. He gets the onsides. Hopefully, we get a rematch in the future in the bracket play. But wow, what a great game that was. What an opener. 
Fantastic, guys. Neither of these guys have nothing to be ashamed of. It's the horseshoe. Yeah, that horseshoe traded buttholes a few times. And it's dirty. So we are uh, heading out. I don't know if we have to kill the stream or, or not kill the stop the recording or not, but I'm going to go ahead. I'll tell you what, you and I need to play. Yeah, we do need to play. Um, but let me ask Greg real quick if we stop recording in between stuff or we just keep it rolling. Greg.